Magnet television. Magnet television. Magnet television. You're watching Magnet television because what else are you going to do? Hey, this is Mitch from Born Ruffians. I'm at home here in Toronto, self-isolating, and uh, we just put out our sixth studio record called Juice, uh, so I'm here to answer some questions for Magnet. I think if you were to ask any musician uh, their favorite all-time song, I think they'd all have the same starting answer, which would be that that's impossible. Um, it's way too hard to just pick one song out of every song in the world that is your one and only favorite. Um, so I guess I'll think of my favorite all-time song of right now, which has to go to Caribou. Uh, Caribou put out a record called Suddenly this year, and the whole thing is amazing. But my favorite track is the opening track called Sister. Um, it's a very soothing, serene, uh, synth kind of very simple, but very moving, uh, opening track. And I find it's the perfect song right now to, if you're out at night when the streets are just completely empty, keeping your safe distance from anybody, but there's nobody anyway. So, uh, and listening to that song, it's the perfect, like you're by yourself, you're in a dream land of darkness kind of vibe. So that right now is probably my favorite song. Um, Caribou has been releasing records since before we were opening for them in 2007 and since that have just been consistently getting better and better and better. So uh, Caribou, Sister, my all-time favorite song. Back in 2001, The Strokes released their first record called Is This It? And we were in high school, me, Luke, and Steve uh, in my band. And we, at that moment, hadn't formed our band yet. But the next year, we started playing together and learning uh, our instruments together and learning how to play. And we started as like a Strokes cover band because the day after, or the week after, I guess, because it was on the weekend, we came back into school after they played Saturday Night Live. Uh, and everybody was talking about it. And we were just so excited and thought it was the coolest thing ever. And I think it made us realize more how much we wanted to chase the dream of being a band and doing that. Like that, that really inspired us. Um, so yeah, our first show ever was playing Strokes covers. We'll still bust them out every now and then. I don't know if we ever played it at one of our Born Ruffians shows or not, but we played them when we were in high school a lot. And uh, if that record never came out, I don't know if I would be in this band or if this band would exist if I would be answering these questions right now for you so um, yeah is this it literally changed my life and I'm still in that life living it so thanks to the strokes I think it was around 2005 when we moved to the city like we grew up in Midland Ontario which is about an hour and a half north of Toronto so we were small town boys that uh, eventually moved to the big city to uh, try and make it as a band and also go to school, but that didn't last. <laughs> uh, and yes, yeah, so around that time, we were going to see shows around Toronto all the time, not just to take it in as fans, but we were trying to like, it almost like be inspired by uh, live music and uh, meet people. We didn't know anybody. And I feel like one of the first shows I remember going to and having my mind truly blown was at the Great Hall, which was just down the street from where we were all living in the same house. And it was a band called Akron Family. And they um, they, they just kind of changed the way how we realized you could play music live, put on a show, and involve the crowd. Like, they truly like melded the two together and made you feel as much of a performer in the crowd as they were on stage. Because... This, it was in this hall, which was just like, uh, they hold like weddings there and stuff now, um, and still play shows there, but it's just like really nice, beautiful hall, and these four guys are up there, and it was around the time where they would like take their shirts off, they'd wear bandanas around their face, just crazy like psych rock, I don't even know really how to describe it, but it was amazing, but they also had these really super intimate moments where they would get into the crowd and let the crowd sing instead of them while we all just huddled around them and we we're just kind of like wow i didn't know like you could do that i thought the band was supposed to be on stage and we like watch the show and go like that was great let's leave and talk about the cool mystique of the band but we realized like oh no you can kind of do whatever you want 
And that was like the first show that I realized that. And we've, I don't know if we've ever like done our shows to that perfect point before, but um, they've definitely inspired us to, to try and include the audience as much as possible and make it less about the mystique of a rock band and more about the fun of the whole show. So Akron family, I owe that to them. I have a, maybe it's an irrational fear. I don't think so. I think it's a rational fear of embarrassing myself on stage by falling down. And I do that in my daily life because I am a klutz. So naturally when we play on stage, that is my number one worry. It's just like, basically I'm playing a show thinking like, don't fall down, don't fall down. And, uh, cause I get, I get into it. I enjoy playing shows and, uh, I've had a few close calls. I've had a few close calls that were literally like, you know those stumbles and where you, you're you walking and you trip and then you try to catch your footing, but it just turns into a bigger and bigger fall until you're running at the ground. I've had one of those, which I barely saved myself by like taking a knee and it almost ruined the show because Steve, our drummer, was laughing so hard and I was just trying to hide my embarrassment. And for the most part, I was able to avoid total embarrassment until a couple of years ago we were playing a show and I was going pretty hard uh, and I guess I just lost my balance I don't think I had too much to drink or anything it was just like I was whipping my head around and lost my equilibrium and then I kind of start going down and I'm like I'm going down like I can't stop myself so I am on the ground and I finished the song playing on the ground so I'm like I'm not getting up I'm not going to like give anybody the satisfaction of watching me stand back up during a song. So I just laid on my back and played the rest of the song thinking like, maybe I tricked everybody into thinking I did that on purpose. I don't know if that's true, but I think I have to believe that or else I can't sleep at night. So yeah, I really wish I could erase that one from my memory. Hey, this is Mitch from Born Ruffians, and you're watching Magnet Television. Sine.